hello good evening and welcome to another edition of power of prayer youtube channel my name is sister jasmine i'm your sister in the lord a few email has come to our attention that person want to know who am who am i so tonight i will want to tell you a little bit about me yes i want to tell you a little bit about me and also I want to encourage you to subscribe and share thumbs up share and share and share and share I must say thank you all for those who will keep on subscribe and liking the channel of power of prayer ministry I really believe that God put placed me here for a reason well let us get to the question and answer Yee! let us pray first Abba Father in heaven, we pray that my little testimony I'm about to share will help someone to get to know you more or they can return back to where you have placed them. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. So, you know, I'm a Jamaican. The last time I shared that I'm a Jamaican. And I have one beautiful daughter. She is an adult now. And I am a professional caregiver. I work in the Cayman Island. Yes. And I'm the seventh child for my mom. And the first daughter for my dad. I have a two younger sibling, which is Angelina and Nigel. I have two older siblings where I'm not going to mention my older brother's name for some reason. And no, he's not a criminal, but he's like private. And my older sister is Rakelita Edwards Darnell. My favorite sister. Do not tell Gracie. She's my favorite sister. Do not tell Gracie. Anyway, and I also have another older sister. Her name is Dana and Marie White. My parents married for 63 years before I was born <laughs> yeah they get married and um, I grew up in the church but I was a little bad little girl you know I was doing things because you know at the age of 20 I met this act boy and I was in the church and I got pregnant and I have to leave the church that I was in Jamaica at um, Cathedral of Apostolic. I baptized when I was 14. Then I fall away and I have my daughter at the age of 23. I am no, I might look young, but I'm very old, okay? Um, when I was in Jamaica and I go back, I go back to church at the age of 28. And I'm still in church now. Uh, when I got a chance to come to the Cayman Island, because I'm still in the Cayman Island, and while coming to the Cayman Island, I go through a lot of stuff. Um, I get to really get connected back with the Lord. And I want to share this testimony on this episode of Journey. Is that I attend the Seventh-day Adventist Church now for the past seven years. And while I was growing up, I didn't like the Adventist church. I didn't like them because I believe that they didn't pray. But they do pray. We do pray. And we really believe in the scripture from Genesis to Revelation. How I end up in the Adventist church is um, I used to look about two little boys, Carlos and Titi. I can't forget them, those two little boys. I can't forget them. And I remember that. I took them for the weekend at my house. I was living at Newlands, um, Newlands Estate. And I took them and I tell them that I was going to take them to church. So I was at Fasters at Countryside. Those who in Cayman know Countryside and those who are not in Cayman, they, do, they would not know Countryside. So I was at Countryside. So I saw this young lady came and she offer me a ride so when i went into the car i saw her have the a quarterly a quarterly is like something like this right a quarterly is something like this right but um she has a quarterly so i wanted to tease her and i said can i come to church with you tomorrow 
And she said, yes, I will pick you up. Eventually, I don't know what happened. She didn't get to pick me up Sabbath, which is the Saturday. I met her on the Friday. I end up at a church. And when I went to the church, I went to church. I didn't know exactly where the Seventh-day Adventist church was. I know that one was in Newlands and one was at Savannah. I end up at Savannah. And when I went to Savannah, there was a lady. I can't forget her. I can't forget her yes sister style yeah and i sit in her class and she was so warm and i was like oh she's different um eventually she invited me home i said this woman what's wrong with this woman she don't know me she invited me home and we were having conversation with her daughter daughter husband our daughter husband brother and, I, and they were like they know me long time and the love that they show me i melt eventually she said i wanted you to um she asked me permission, would you like to study the Bible? And I said, yes, I want to study the Bible because at the time I was an active Christian. And um, she introduced me to Brother Samuel. No, Brother Samuel, he said to me, either you break or you back away. But I'm going to share scripture. And they shared the scripture with me. And it, it really moved me. And I decided I am going to baptize. But one of the hardest things is to call my pastor back in Jamaica, Pastor Asia Mullins, because she's so nice. Um, eventually, I quit my job because I don't wanted to work on the Sabbath. And I, I didn't know much. It happened that brother Samuel ended up to go to um, Cayman Brock, I believe. And I lose sister style, text me and call me on and on. And I, I kind of lose a little bit there because I was contemplate, like I was active, so I'm going to another church. Um, you know, I was talking to the Lord, but anyway, I baptized. So I was walking on this road, my cousin and I, Valerie, and I see this pretty lady passing in this nice little van. She stopped and said, can I help you? And where are you guys going? And we said, We're going, I'm going to church. She said, oh yeah, I'm Adventist. Her name is Anne-Marie Marison. Yes, Marie. And um, that's how we begin to become friends. She ended up becoming one of my closest friends. Yeah. And she introduced me to this small group. The small group where Elder Racine, Simit, and his wife, Tara, they have small group on Fridays. And they invite me the first time uh, I went. It was fun. I see the love. I see a different side I didn't see before, and it was pleasant. It was filling. It 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 helped me personally. So, the second time I went, they were talking about Daniel and Revelation, and I see this girl, this dark girl, really looking nice, all of that, and I begin to hate on her. I was like, "Oh, is she have gone so far?" Her name was Benicia. <laughs> so anyway, I met Benicia and. Benicia is my best friend now. Sorry, Tishel, she's your best friend too, but she's my best friend too. And I end up meeting Tishel. And I mean, those, she, Benicia and Tishel are younger than me, like maybe 14 years younger than me. But they are stars. They, they know what they want with the Lord. They are concrete. They love God with all their hearts. Things that they display to me, I can testify. I can call any one of those girls and you know, we just read the Bible and we pray. These are these kind of girls. I, I love those girls. And Anne Marie, and when I read, I said, no, I can't. I, I can't. I can't. I have to stay with the Seventh-day Adventist Church. Because everything that they open is about the Bible. So this, this is me now. I'm a Seventh-day Adventist. I'm a Ten Commandments. And I decided to do YouTube channel. And I pray that my testimony help you. And I meet a lot of person um, in in this time. The woman ministry director, she don't want me to call her name, you know, but her name is SW, her initial. So you're supposed to know that she know who she is. You know, wherever she goes, she, she knows that I love to teach and love to read. She always carry articles for me and such a like on the way i meet a lot of person i meet cynthia she's not an adventist but um she's a she's a christian um, um cynthia ebanks i met her 
she 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 is actually my boss um she really a sweet person i meet so many person along the way help me with this journey and next time i will tell you more testimony so you subscribe and share and you will hear my testimony god bless you until we meet again shalom